72 years ago on this very day. A World War II veteran shares a timeless Memorial Day story. Good evening, everybody. I'm Rob Braun. And I'm Sydney Benter. This is a day of remembrance that means different things to different people. It is the unofficial beginning of summer, a day of parades and picnics, but most importantly, it's a day for Americans to remember the soldiers and sailors, airmen and Marines who died in service to their country. Joe Webb has the story of a local veteran who has a unique perspective on this day. This is Memorial Day for so many, a neighborhood parade with candy, kids, and lots of cool cars. For so many others, this is Memorial Day, a well-earned day off spent with family, enjoying some time and some food outdoors. But for others, it is a day to decorate the graves of veterans. And for longtime Fort Wright resident Alan White, May 29th is a day etched in his memory. On May the 29th, 1945, 72 years ago, this very day, we were attacked by the Japanese suicide planes. On that date, Alan White was a 20-year-old sailor aboard the USS Tatum, a destroyer escort steaming between Okinawa and Japan. He manned one of the Tatum's 20-millimeter anti-aircraft guns and helped splash all four attacking planes. But one of them freakishly lost its payload that ended up slamming into the Tatum below decks hit us with a, a dud torpedo, which didn't go off 10 feet under where I was standing. It's a day I've never forgotten, and I thank the Lord every day for the day after. Alan White may have talked with God about May 29th every day, but he didn't talk about it to others, not even his family, until recently. He held this very close to his heart. It was very personal to him, and now at his age, he realizes that it's something that he feels this next generation needs to know about. For the sake of full disclosure, Alan White is a good friend of mine. I've known him 30 years, and today was the first time I've heard him tell the story. Alan White served with 115 sailors on the USS Tatum. Six of them died during their service in World War II. And those are the people we are honoring today. It's a day to remember the people who gave their lives. Uh, I wasn't one of them, almost. I wasn't one of them, but uh, they were different. They were different times back then. And the links to those times are worth remembering too. Of those 115 men on the USS Tatum 72 years ago, today Alan White is one of only two still living. In Fort Wright, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. After serving in the Navy, Alan White completed his education at the University of Kentucky. He had a long career in print and television journalism. You may recognize him for that reason. Alan was one of the founders of Channel 9's newsroom. He has lived in Fort Wright for 60 years. 